the one thing that I found as being an indie author that I really didn't expect was the whole sense of community, the tribe, the connection between the authors and the readership, the authors and the authors. It's something that's almost indescribable about finding your people, finding people who energize you, who bring out the creative in you, who mentor that and encourage that whether it's through their own writing or through one-on-one -on -one interaction or through readers who are just hungry for more good work. In my fantasy novel, Yakita, which I've re-released as Exile, one of the big things that makes up the underpinning of the world is the people's belief in what they call the Wakatani, the elder gods, the stars. They believe that the gods in these stars guide their lives, that they guide their history, that they've actually taken a hand and acted for the behalf of the people. A main underlying principle in the book is what happens when these things that you have believed for so long, that you have prayed to, have walked in, have believed in, all of a sudden are in front of you in the form of a very fallible, fairly stuck up, absolutely obnoxious, somewhat unlikable young man who is absolutely not godlike, doesn't know half the things that you as a villager know. And you have to deal with the fact that these creatures that you have revered are different and have abilities, but they are not gods. And I think that shift of perspective and power in the village makes a very interesting underplay to the action of this series. I've heard it say that you have to be good to be lucky and you have to get lucky to be good. I'd argue with that because there are a lot of things that you can't alter as far as how your career in writing or any type of indie art goes. You can't, if you haven't got the million dollars to put into promo, you can't do that. You can't make a name until you have a name. You can't get people to know who you are and buy who you are until who you are is out there. The one thing that I think you can do is love your craft and work on your craft and be the best at writing, whether it's um, fantasy such as I write, whether it's music, whether it's art, to be passionate about developing your craft so that the people who do discover you discover something that is worth it. And if they believe it's worth it, then they'll tell somebody. And if they believe it's worth it, then they'll tell somebody. And that's how the ball starts. Once it starts rolling, luck has a lot to do with it. But you've got to shove to get it moving. I'll prepare myself for stardom. That is so not going to be there. Self-doubt is humongous. I have t fight with self-doubt every time I sit at a computer, every time I pick up a pen. It's not good enough. It's not Guy Gabriel Kay. It's not Shakespeare. It's not Neil Gaiman. It's not, no, it's not. It's Sandra. The one thing that I work on to really convince myself that this craziness is worth it is exactly that. But what the world is hearing is Sandra. It's not J.K. Rowling. It's not any of these people who are wonderful at the craft. But they're not me, and I'm not them, and the world needs me and my voice as much as it needs them and theirs. I've always been a fan. Whether it's a fan of Star Trek, Star Wars, Doctor Who, Red Dwarf, or any science fiction from the 60s, 70s, 80s you can name, or a fan of certain writers, I would give my left ovary to get a hold of Guy Gavriel Kay's notes for writing to Ghana. I, the man, the way he does words just awes me. But I think in being a fan, 
and in being around people who are fans of other writers, seeing them at cons, seeing them online in groups, the one thing that I've learned and that I hope I can deal with when I'm dealing with people who like my work that way is to respect them because they're giving me a part of their life and their time and their faith in what I do. And if I don't respect that and I don't honor that, then they're going to take it back. And if I haven't got it, then I've got nothing. I'm writing into an echo chamber and nobody's hearing the words but me. My books are all available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, uh, through Walmart Online, and basically anywhere and everywhere. I have a blog site at uh, www.delusionsofliteracy.com. I'm available on Twitter at Sandra Hurst and also Sandra Hurst on Facebook. At the moment I don't do Instagram. I need to figure out how it's just beyond my technical capability right now. Music